think the timings are a little uh, the one of the bridge give, but what we want to say overall is that the bridge must be in use, and we're ensuring that it's in use to provide an alternative to the people of Likoni to cross the channel without uh, getting infected with COVID-19. This bridge was established purposely for that, and we've shared that story a lot of times, and we want it to be in use. And of course, today is a day one where people are compulsorily using this bridge for the hours of 4 p.m. to uh, 7 p.m., and then the hours of 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. And I think today it has been quite good. Uh, there's been lots of cooperation. We have had no incident, and we expect that to continue uh, forthwith into the future until we see that the pandemic is... Uh, is controlled and of course uh, the bridge also, the real bridge, the one we call the Mombasa Gate Bridge comes into, into being. Uh, we have a multi-agency team here, we have KPA itself which owns the bridge, we have Kenha, we have the police, uh, we have the Coast Guard, we have the Red Cross that will provide uh, support, medical support and evacuation support should there be need uh, for that kind of thing. But uh, so far, so good. I think people appreciate that uh, within 10 minutes, you are able to cross from one side of the bridge to the other, from Liwatoni to uh, Likoni, or from Likoni to Liwatoni, you just need 10 minutes of brisk walking, and you are done. And I think many people are appreciating that. It's a good breeze. You know, you can feel the good breeze, you can have this very good air. So there's no crowding. So people, I think, are appreciating that a lot. Mm -hmm. Disabled? Mm -hmm. They will be able to move. You know, there's no crowding as such. You know, what you are seeing are many people. Many people does not necessarily mean uh, pressing each other and you know pushing and pulling. As long as people are able to move, you can see bicycles are moving. Uh, people on uh, arm wheelchairs will also be able to move. I think there are police officers on that bridge who can be of use to them. We also have girls, chiefs, assistant chiefs are there. Should they see somebody on a wheelchair, they can be able to escort him across without any difficulty. Okay, so I think the as echoed by him, that we have all the safety precautions. In fact, uh, when we do close the bridge as the pedestrians are passing, we'll ensure that we have a patrol, we have also divers, we have life-saving uh, equipment in case there's a mishap. Things like this, we have to be actually sure that we have a 